So the next thing we are going to look at in trigonometry is sometimes you can draw a triangle that's not 90 degrees. And so what I'm going to do here is you've got three different examples of one side being five centimeters. I measured the angle on all of these to be 30 degrees. And what I want you to do is I want you to first see how many triangles are possible if you make this other side, because it needs one more side to make a triangle, right? So if you connect this dot to somewhere on this line, can you do that if the other side is seven centimeters, or is that impossible, or can it happen multiple times? How many ways can you draw a triangle where the last side that connects this point to somewhere on, I will call it the blue line, at seven centimeters? Okay? Draw as many as are possible, if it is possible at all. The second one. I want the other side to be three centimeters. And on the last one, I want the other side to be one centimeter. So using your ruler and pivoting it, you need to measure the other side to be seven centimeters. So the side that connects here to here has to be seven centimeters. Is it possible? So for those of you working at home, this with one centimeter is not possible because it is not long enough to touch. So this one is not possible. But there are people that have found three triangles that worked so far with one and two. And for those of you that have found the three triangles that worked so far in one and two, Think about the last one. If one centimeter is too short, what is the shortest distance I could give you and it would still work? And if you found the shortest distance with your ruler, could you find the shortest distance without your ruler? without a calculator, just using mental math. Hmm. Okay. There's your challenge. You can find the shortest distance with your ruler, but there's a way to figure it out without a calculator and just using mental math. For seven centimeters, did you find out that it was only possible if you went this way? But when you got to three centimeters, you could either make it go this way and do three centimeters or this way and do three centimeters. So with the three centimeters, two triangles were possible. And as people were trying to find the smallest one possible, lots of people were smart in saying the smallest distance would be if you went straight down. If you went straight down, that would make it 90 degrees. And people measured it. And when you measured it, did you get I mean, the photocopier might have floated out. Did you get 2.5 centimeters when you measured it? Good. How could you do that without your calculator as mental math? Do you see that I've drawn a right angle triangle, and I want to find the opposite side, and I know the hypotenuse? If I wrote an x here because I didn't measure it and I didn't know, I could write my definition of sine. Sine of 30 degrees is x over and 30 degrees is one of our special triangles that we can do in our head or without a calculator. Sine of 30 degrees, I'm going to switch to black here because it's easier to see, is one half. And if you have one half for sine of 30 degrees, this means that this x has to be half of the hypotenuse. What's half of 5? 2.5. 
So that's how you would solve that one without accounting. Now this is going to cause us some problems, or not cause us some problems, but it's an interesting fact that we just discovered. Sometimes if the side opposite the angle is bigger than 5, then we would only get one triangle possible. If the side opposite the angle of 30 degrees was less than 5, like 3, then there's a possibility that there could be 2. If it's less than 5, there's a possibility, as we saw with 1, that there's no solutions. And when the opposite side worked out perfectly at 90 degrees, then there would only be one. So there are certain lengths, and ooh, I wonder if I could, this would be wonderful if this worked, but I don't think it will. This length here, no, it doesn't work. I wanted, to do, I wanted it to just swing. Here, I'll draw, I'll, I'll draw an animation. If I took this side here, and I swung it around, it wouldn't touch until here making two possibilities, okay? But with the one, doesn't matter how I swing the one around, it never touches. And the 2.5, if I swung that one around, touches only once at perfectly at 90 degrees. The seven, well, if it swings around, it doesn't hit on the other side because it's too long, because it's longer than five. So this visual is going to be very important for us for what we're doing next when we learn that we can solve triangles that aren't 90 degrees with something called the sine law, which we're going to be doing tomorrow. And sometimes with the sine law, two triangles are possible, sometimes no triangles are possible, and sometimes only one triangle is possible.